I'd like to encourage you into the new course uh, which Christian Meditation is running called Into the Mystics. Uh, after 30 years of studying the mystics and practicing Christian meditation, I find that it deeply enriches the practice to have a knowledge of the Christian mystics. Uh, they help to show through their own lives and teaching how we come to God through our own experience and how we come to God as a whole person. Uh, that is, with, uh, with our intellectual study, with our emotional engagement and the physical uh, response to the, um, to the presence of God. So the mystics were very varied. And the, the variety of the Christian mystics helps to show that everybody can find a way into God. Some were more intellectual uh, and some came to God more through the emotional or the physical life. And uh, what they all discovered was it was through their own experience. And by studying them, we can find our own way uh, to a wholly personal approach. Now, uh, the, the facilitator of our course, Professor Bernard McGinn, has done an in-depth study of uh, the Western mystical tradition. And he'll be giving an introduction, firstly, using the example of Teresa of Avila. And Teresa's response to God was through her emotional life, through her physical uh, encounter with God, and through her own reflect, deep reflection uh, and writing about that. So it's, she's an example of someone who engaged with a whole person. Uh, but at the end of her writing, she said that the, the, the fruit of mysticism is um, in the good works that it leads to. That is, in the social engagement and the transformative effect it has on our lives and on the world around us. So I encourage uh, you very much to, to join, sign up for this course. Uh, and uh, because it will lead to a deep enriching of your personal journey and also will lead to the, to the, um, uh, the, the growth of love. And the growth of love is what leads to a transformation in the world. Mysticism is always a journey into the heart and into um, uh, the, the depths of who we are as, as beings uh, in a world which needs uh, a fully human response.